Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm coming back today to share an altered bottle, an altered jar with you. I'm going to attempt to make this look like one of those jars that has silver on the top and the bottom, but it's still the glass in the middle. I don't know what that's called. So it made me two patterns. The first one, we're down here at the bottom. Something like that. Is for a river or water simulation. I've made this pattern, sorry, where I can cut. After I do the first pattern on the silver, then I can cut it and still have another pattern. So it'll be two layers. Same thing with the top, but I didn't make a template for the leaves. Those I'll just cut by hand. Alright, so it's going to look like a willow tree on growing on the banks of the river I hope <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to do the first two layers with the last bit of the silver now the color of the clay really doesn't matter because I'm gonna mica over it I'm going to gesso and mock over it. <laughs> but I want it to show through the bottle silver. So that's why I'm using the silver for the first layers anyway. Not sure about the second layers. I do have another block of silver. Um, I just don't know whether I'm going to get into it or not. Alright, so I'm going to roll this out. I'm going to Ooh. I'm going to try to get both sheets out. don't know how successful I'll be. Um, well, it'll at least do the bottom. Huh? So, I'm going to roll this out and then I'll be back. Now I've rolled it out, I have conditioned it, and rolled it out, and rolled it out, and rolled it out. I just didn't fold this edge in because I knew I was going to cut it off. So I'm going to put my pattern down. Now I'm not going to put it down exactly because all of this will be folded under the bottle. So I don't really care about that. Okay, so just using my exacto, my craft knife, sorry about that. I'm going to cut out the rest of this pattern. Again, I'm not trying to be exact, it will change throughout the process but I just want to have an idea of what it's going to look like alright pull all of this scrap off Finish cutting through where you didn't cut through. Down here, really? Oh, 
All right. Now, I'm just going to take this pattern. This is not what I'm going to cut. I don't, I don't like that. But anyway, I'm going to cut it down. And then I'll bring in another. I'll roll this silver back out. And then I'll cut that pattern out. No, I will roll this silver back out with a little bit more and cut those leaves out is what I'm going to do. This is done. I could go ahead and put this on the bottle, but I'm not going to. I did want to say, this is Sculpey Primo. I rolled it out on a four. I always forget to say those things. Scopey Primo rolled out on a four. Alright, alright. I'll be back. Alright, for the sake of room on my desk, I did decide to go ahead and put this on the bottle. But I did want to come by and show you how to finish out the bottom. I'm just squeezing it. And it will form the shape of the bottle. There you go. See? No raised fold sticking up. There we go. Alright. Now I'll need to do the top layer and then I'll be able to fix the tree trunk. I want the tree trunk to be between these two layers. I want it to be the the two layers of the top and the bottom and then I'll do the tree trunk then I'll do the leaves and put the other layer on all right that's the plan anyway <laughs> all right I'll be back okay I have smoothed the edges off a little bit I have laid down this seam a little better I'm not worried about hiding it necessarily um, the mica powder will help do that. Alright, so before I cut this pattern, I want the leaves to hang down below this edge of the bottle. But I don't want the clay to come up any higher than this here. And I'm so sorry. My hands are still stained from when I did that box. <laughs> Alright. So. I'm going to have to cut the pattern down once I get it on the clay. Alright. This is just a best made pickle jar. Sorry, I'm from Texas. Alright, I tried to go for a bottle that didn't have very much um, indentation, but this was the best I could find. Alright, so that's all I wanted to say is I'm going to have to cut the pattern down when I put the clay on the bottle. Alright, I decided since I would have to open it anyway, I got out the new block of um, Primo Accent Silver. This is the way I always buy gold, silver, white, black, brown. <laughs> Just because I use it so much. So I'm just going to start. 
glossing off a bit. This is super fresh, super fresh clay. Love it. Always get my clay from the same place, Polymer Clay Superstore. Yes, they have sales all the time. Have a rewards program. Oh, I'm so sorry. Still not exactly used to this different camera angle. Alright, I just have to roll it down a little bit till it's thin enough it can fit through my pasta machine. That is pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to run this out and get it ready to put the leaves stencil on. Okay, move the camera a little bit for a second, but um, I've cut the um, leaf pattern out, and now I'm going to remove the pattern, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lay the clay on the bottom part of the pattern so that only the leaves are left exposed, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now, the reason I did this <laughs> is because it will make it easier to apply to the glass. So, there is the seam, which I'm going to attempt to match up. Although, you can't hardly see it from the inside. <laughs> Alright. So, I've left the tails of the leaves hanging down. For a reason. Smash that. It's going to be difficult either way. Try not to stick to the bottom, how about? Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm just mashing the bottom of the leaves down to the glass. Just removing the pattern. Wow, well, it didn't really work the way I intended, but Now then, all is well. All right. Now I can press this into the jar. 
which will give me an idea of where to cut it. I hope. Yeah. Because I want to cut it where it won't interfere with the lid going on and off. So, right here below this line. Now be careful when you're resting it down because it will flatten out the bit we already put on. it won't interfere at all with the lid closing and when I cover the lid I'll have the covering round down around the bottom so hopefully there won't be much at all left to see okay now at this point I want to do the detail on the bottom layer. Okay. So I've got the stamp from the Stampin' Up! line called Ocean Commotion. Unfortunately, I think this has been discontinued, but you just need whatever floral stamp or flourish stamp or swirl stamp or whatever is going to give you some water texture. That's what you want. And unfortunately, I haven't bought any stamps in a long time, so I've just got this one that was actually given to me. So, there's several ways that you can use this. You can use this edge, this edge, this edge, or this edge. So, I'm going to try at least three of them. Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to have to press way harder than I was. Oh yeah, that's better. Uh, let's see. Let's try. let's try this set. <laughs> oh. Now it doesn't matter. that it doesn't go down too far because we're going to put another layer of clay alright there's a little something now here's what I was talking about about laying it down if you lay it down and press it too hard, you're going to flatten it out some. But again, that's all going to be covered with another layer of clay. Okay, that was that. Now, up here on the leaves, we're going to have to... lay them down on the glass the one thing I didn't tell you when you're putting polymer clay on glass the secret is the clay has to go all the way around that's the only way it can maintain the surface tension if you just add a bit of clay then it will pop off <laughs> because there is no surface tension holding it on 
It's only the vet. Alright. So now I've finished the leaves. I've put the top on. And I pulled out a um, really bad replica huh, of a knob that I had in my stash. Just glued it down with some actually crackle accents, but glossy accents is nearly the same thing. Huh? <laughs> so what I've done now is I've rolled out another sheet of clay and I'm going to cut some little bit larger leaves but not too much larger let's try about like that okay Smooth down the edges a bit. Now on this one, we'll have to do the detail beforehand. Sorry y'all, it's hard for me to see. <laughs> I've done these jars many times before, even the ones with the closed silver technique, but I've never done this design before. This was my own design, and it's the first time doing it. Okay, so we may need a bit of bacon bond. this to work I'm sure it's not gonna flow out like my crack accents did this morning wow usually the bacon bond is harder to get out of the bottle when it Cold, obviously. Oh yeah, uh, it's gonna work nicely. All right. So that's what I'm doing. I don't want the bottle to be stuck to the lid, though. That's my only downfall. And. I didn't put the little indentations around the edge. Gotta keep them looking like a willow leaf, right? Alright. Oh, don't press that tip down then. Okay, now. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera, but I want to say first, I'm not going to just go around. I don't want the leaves to be in a pattern. I'm going to stagger them out, lay ones on top of the other, um, put smaller and bigger. That's that's the plan anyway <laughs> all right i'm gonna finish that and then i'll be back 
Okay, before I go any further, I need to add some color. Now, this is... show you. This is the silver from the Mona Lisa brand, which I'm thinking has been discontinued. You cannot find them even online, so sorry about that. But you just want to look around for the most silver colored mica powder out there. Um... I know Fimo has a, a fairly convincing one. Um, and there's another brand that I actually don't have. But there are several out there. If worse comes to worse, you can just use Pearl X powder in the silver color. Perfect Pearls. Um... My Illumilot silver powder would work wonderfully. But I don't figure that some of y'all readily have available, so. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to start. I'm going to start on the tree. I've got a really soft, super soft brush. And it really doesn't take much at all on your brush to get a really convincing silver color. Much more silver colored than just the regular silver primo, unfortunately. But after this is all baked and everything, then I'm going to add a lot wash of um, black acrylic paint and that will help to bring out some of the details so I'm just going to continue on and then um, I've got another layer of leaves to add to the jar lid but I didn't want the jar lid to stick to any of this stuff up here. So that's why I'm mocking it now. Because where the leaves hang down over, they will definitely want to stick. But this mica powder will definitely help that out some. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to continue on till it's covered. Then I'm going to add the last layer of leaves on the lid. Then I'll bake it all and then I'll be back. <laughs> so, I'll be back. Okay, now I've finished applying the mica. And I'm going to bake it. And I just wanted to come by and tell you that I always bake by the manufacturer's directions. Sometimes I bake a little longer, but I bake at the same temperature. I do have an oven thermometer in my oven. I actually have two oven thermometers just to check to make sure that the first one was right. <laughs> um, I do have two oven thermometers in there just to make sure my oven, th oven temperature is correct. So I'm going to bake this and I'll probably bake it for 30 minutes because it is so thin. Um, I did put the lid on. Hopefully it won't stick down when I bake it. The mica powder should help that. Hopefully I don't have it screwed down hard. I just have it set on there. Alright. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, this is how impatient I am. While this was in the oven, I started another 
um, knob mold because this one didn't um, mold completely. Sorry. So this time I did two halves. Huh. Instead of pushing the knob down into it, I'll do another video on that. So I've got some. This is the Verathane, which is just a water based um, sealer. There are other brands that will work, but you do have to be careful because not all brands are compatible with polymer clay. <laughs> So I just want to brush a light coat on before I antique it. Alright, so I'm just going to do the whole thing. Alright, I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, I did want to say that I put the sealer on so that when I antique it, the black doesn't penetrate too much. Um, instead of using the mica, I could have used just silver paint. That would have worked just as well. I just think that this particular mica powder is a little more silver. Huh? So that's why I went for it. Alright, so I just need to let this dry. And then I'll be back to antique it. Okay. Okay. Instead of doing a black acrylic wash, I'm going to try a little bit of this Lindy Stamp Gang. It's all I've got left. So I may still resort to the acrylic paint antiquing, but... This is what we've got right now. So, I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll be back. Alright, I've just got some um, DecoArt Americana black paint. And I've watered it down a lot. And I'm just adding a bit here and there. Adding a bit of water. Alright, I'm just going to continue on and I'll be back. Okay, here it is. I have gone back with my X-Acto and just um, cleaned the glass up a little bit where it was little stained a little colored I'll have some still shots at the end um, with a better background still the lid huh. is tricky you've got to get it kind of just right there we go but it's good for what it is it's a beautiful decorative jar now instead of just something to throw in the trash all right so it could have been a mason jar could have been a spaghetti sauce jar could have been any kind of jar just put some silver clay on it 
and the only reason you need it to be silver is because you're gonna see it through the glass on the other side all right other than that it could have been pink sorry you know I'm not a pink girl um, the mica powder of course covers up the color of the clay and just a wash of black acrylic paint the uh, Lindy stamp gang really didn't do much it did um, kind of go back in the details a bit and add a little bit of um, shadow in there so all right thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe if you feel like it you can check out my shop which the link is listed below thank you so much for watching and bye for now.